Hi there, this is Dave from Eport Fix, and today I'm not going to talk to you about what I was going to talk to you about because uh, the, the weather has provided me such a great opportunity to talk about something else. And so today I want to talk to you about riding your bike in the winter. Uh, I'll give you some honest words on that. Now, I've been riding my bike in the winter for many years and also in the summer as well, so I feel a little bit qualified to talk about it. Um, should you ride your bike in the winter? Now, if you're watching this, uh, I assume you're interested in cycling or have a curious about riding a bike in the winter. And so I would say it's definitely something you should try. I mean, I remember the first time I rode my bike in the winter, it was uh, kind of in the 90s. Uh, I had just got my uh, first mountain bike and I had something knobby to, uh, to ride with, something uh, that was maybe possibly capable to ride in the winter. And I got out in the winter and it was such a beautiful day and it was in the kind of in a wooded area on the roads and it was such a revelation i was able to go out and actually ride my bike in the months in you know the time then it, w it was otherwise impossible like, you know i'd never been riding a bike in the winter and you know you go for months without riding and uh all of a sudden you have this opportunity where you can ride and it's it's fantastic so um you get sunny days like this it's such a great time to go out uh, you can see the roads behind me, they're snow covered a bit, but a lot of them are, are clear and, and dry. Um, and then you can take advantage of uh, sunny weather like this. It's maybe minus 12 out, uh, kind of windy, but uh, you know, sunny. It's a great time to take advantage of it. Now, should you ride your bike? Now, if you want to try it, definitely I recommend it. There's a couple things you want to consider. Um, you want to have I want to make sure you have a bike that's got some tread. It doesn't have to be fat tire bike, it can be. Uh, for the road, I like, uh, I'm riding about uh, 32 uh, C, 32 millimeter wide tires with uh, some grip. You don't want to have anything smooth. Uh, smooth tires are gonna, are gonna slip and uh, be hard to, to handle. Something just with a little bit of tread, it can be uh, wide or narrow, not a big deal, but uh, make sure you got some tread and it's gonna grip. Um, if you're worried about falling, slipping and falling because of the ice and the snow, are you going to fall? Maybe? Probably? Possibly? I fall occasionally. Um, but, you know, I'm wearing so much stuff. I've got uh, two layers on my legs. Uh, I've got a jacket and a jersey and a base layer. Uh, normally, I'm riding uh, to stay comfortable. I've got a... Uh, ski helmet and goggles that keeps me safe and so because you're wearing so much stuff you're you're much more padded your speeds are generally a lot slower so you're not going to be going as fast and uh, the ground is, is a bit softer and, and you slide and stuff so uh, I would say you you I mean you never know what can happen but uh, your chances of getting hurt are much less um, I've never got hurt falling in the winter and I've fell on a bunch of times. It's just fun. You're playing in the snow. I would say if you're comfortable uh, going outside in the winter and throwing yourself into a snowbank, if that could be fun for you and, and if you feel comfortable doing that, then I'd say you're, you're fine. You, you shouldn't be worried about uh, slipping and, and falling in the snow and in the winter. Um, what should you wear? It's important to stay warm. You're going to be working. You're going to get... Uh, create heat and uh, you don't need to wear as much as you think uh, you really want to have a windproof shell you want to make sure your uh, your pants and your jacket are windproof and then you can wear some uh, some insulation below it uh, if you got a zipper you can open it up and, and you'll be fine to uh, to uh, vent and uh, control your heat that way um, you want to take care of your extremities. Uh, if I'm riding, I've got uh, some winter cycling shoes. Uh, anything 15 below, if I'm out for an hour or more, I have uh, heated insoles. Those are a really great godsend if you can afford them. If you're planning on doing some longer riding, um, you want to take care of your feet. Uh, I like to be clipped in, so that's, that's my option, uh, heated insoles. You can just wear big winter boots and flat pedals, that's fine. You also want to take care of your hands. 
In the winter, I don't worry about dexterity too much. I have nice big mittens. I think these are made for uh, for ice fishing. I can still hold the brakes and uh, control my shifters. Uh, so your hands and your uh, feet are warm. The rest of you is, is uh, really good. And a ski helmet and goggles are wonderful. Great op options for uh, wearing when you're riding in the winter. Um, yeah, the, the speeds are a lot slower. You're, uh, your pedaling is going to be harder. I find just uh, the wind seems to slow you down more. The, the, there's more rolling resistance with the snow and the ice. Uh, so that takes a bit more out of you. Um, but I, I don't worry too much about uh, about going fast or anything. I just like to get out and uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the sun and, and take advantage of the weather. Um, I already uh, talked about uh, winterizing your bike if you're going to be commuting and, and doing it more often. Uh, you can see my video on that, um, but otherwise, uh, I would I would recommend you know you have to have a bit of equipment. Uh, make sure you're uh, warm enough out there and protected with a helmet. Um, but if you've got the bike with uh, some knobby tires and uh, you want to take advantage of beautiful sunny weather days like this, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, so that's uh, that's it for me. Um, enjoy the winter weather. Thanks for watching. Leave any uh, questions, comments below. And uh, you have any questions or uh, looking for some advice on uh, how to prep your bike or what to wear in the winter or where to ride, uh, leave it in the comments and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.